Roxanne, this is Mark Waite. Um, I had, we'd had a, started a discussion in the online chat about possibly canceling this session. Oh, okay. I don't, I, I'm waiting to see how that shakes out. We've got, um, so since we're not recording yet, I think we're, oh, no, we are recording it. <laughs> I'm going to pause the recording. Okay. Okay, so pause, how do I pause? No, oh, well, I'll, I'll just, the, uh, we've got an issue with our Alpine image that needs our attention. And okay. we're, paid, we're working that issue right now. And I'd rather spend the time on that than worrying about the advocacy meeting today. I think we could skip this meeting safely. I completely understand. Uh, so I'm gonna stay online here for just a moment, awaiting an answer, a confirmation from Oleg Unless there are two specific topics that are of worry to you. No, I, it was just a follow up on like this month and what we did for the graduation and all that. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. And so Alyssa, I was just telling Roxanne that mm. Oleg and I were having a conversation in the Gitter channel mm -hmm. suggesting that we might just cancel today's session. Uh, oh, looks like we may have Oleg here as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I decided to just uh, join for a, tech, for a second, mostly just in case that there are folks from CDF. Okay. Yeah, and I was just telling Roxanne that we've got we've got challenges right now that working on the technical side that I think we would better spend our time working those technical challenges and skip today's advocacy session. Well, uh, that's a fair point. At the same time today, we do technical challenges. I guess we also have a lot of non-technical ones. Uh, which we cannot really discuss at this call, but yeah. So we could still do a quick sync up, especially in the terms of C Jenkins graduation and CDF. So to ensure that uh, we don't have op open action items where actions are needed from our side. Ah, good point. Okay. So the only question I had was if you still wanted to write a more detailed roadmap post Oleg, or if you were happy with just pointing to it like we did, oh, well, I'm fine either way. Uh, I'm not happy, especially, uh, exactly. I would like to write a full blog post. At the same time, my responsibilities at the, at the job don't allow me to really dedicate any significant time to that. Right. Uh, yeah, so the story is basically, uh, I didn't uh, get heads up uh, about uh, the roadmap mini blog post. Yeah, I thought Tracy would have told you. She just told me she forgot. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, uh, well, uh, generally, it's nice to have something in place. So it's not something I, like I had hard feelings about that. Uh, yeah, at the same time, I deprioritized uh, the roadmap blog post to focus on other things. And we're yeah, taking other deadlines and yeah, I'm going uh, on my, on my security issue. I don't think that I will uh, get to that right now. But if you ever do, we'll just publish yeah. it. It's, yeah. yeah. Thanks for reminding about that. So okay. basically, I'm doing similar uh, presentation for DevOps world. Okay. So I would have to prepare content anyway. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, just uh, too many things to handle at once. And uh, yes. this, I think uh, just good. Between Will clubs. it be recorded, the DevOps world? Uh, yeah, um, it will be recorded. I believe videos will be published. So as usual. Because we could also point to that, you know, uh, yeah. or instead of an article. Uh, well, let's see. I still need yeah. to write an article for Jenkins IO uh, because yeah, it's also kind of my checklist for items. So right. yeah, it's not something like I completely decide not to do that. It's just <laughs> I understand. right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, I got a decent progress. So if I wasn't writing a blog post, something like five pages, etc., then yeah, probably it would have been ready by now. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. That was it for my side. Uh, mm -hmm. Jackie's not here, but I assume if she had something she would ask. Mm -hmm. okay. 
So uh, I have one uh, item, um, DevOps World Jenkins Award, as we've done mm -hmm. in the past. Um, we need nominations. <laughs> I submitted my nominations. I have not, and I will, I solemnly promise, submit nominations. I had some, some great oh, ideas. You so. missed the deadline, no. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I still, so, so Oleg, you submitted your nomination through the uh, DevOps World uh, yeah. website? Okay. Right. So I submitted the three nominations for all three Jenkins roles. I didn't okay. get to anything else because I was also doing it something like several hours before the deadline. Okay. All right, uh, Mark, mm -hmm. what I can do is I can send you the spreadsheet and you can just um, add your nomination to that spreadsheet. Okay, that would be wonderful, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other item that I have was with regards to Jenkins is the way tweets. So, um, ABC Consulting is the vendor that has been helping us to write up the case studies and the user stories. So I've asked them to uh, generate tweets for us because I know that everybody is so busy and um, they and they did that. They, we have a rolling um, set of tweets that they have already created. Um, what is the best way for us to, I guess, to have uh, folks review it and possibly use it? There are two parts of the question. So first, uh, what Twitter account do you plan to use? Because um, right now there is Jenkins as the way Twitter account. And to be honest, I have no idea who owns it. Uh, is it you, Alisa? No. Uh, okay, so it's not Mark, it's not Tracy, it's not is, me, it's not you, Alisa? Is it Marky? Uh, theoretically, so might be, uh, but uh, I would be surprised if it were Marky, just because there's been a recent tweet from it, and I didn't think he was actively tweeting on the on on Jenkins recently. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we, we can ask who is yeah. that. Uh, but yeah, there is Jenkins is the way Twitter account, and yeah, I'm not sure who controls it. So oh, Jenkins is the way Twitter account, uh, that one. So what happened was uh, um, Tracy initially requested that Laura create tweets for us uh, based mm -hmm. on all these user stories and case studies, but Laura mm -hmm. didn't have time. And so I had AB Consulting did that. And so we gave Tracy the tweets and I think it just sat with Tracy so then AB Consulting felt like all this work that we've been doing is, you know, we didn't want it to go to waste, right? We want it to continue to give it visibility. Yeah. And so then they created just for, you know, the heck of it and see what happens. They created the, the Jenkins okay. is the way. Okay. So it's, it's AB Consulting that owns the, that has control of the Jenkins is the way Twitter account. Yes, but okay. but my preference is for these tweets to come out of Jenkins uh, at Jenkins CI mm -hmm. handle because I really don't want to create more things for us to manage. Yeah. Um, so technically, we can do that. Yeah, I just got a spreadsheet with tweets two days ago. I know that they were sitting around for months. Uh, but yeah, I have access to this spreadsheet now. Uh, we could set up tweets, etc. At the same time, yeah, it will need some reviews, etc. And yeah, I'm not sure whether we would have uh, been white right now. Oh, you you know the context, Alisa. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, best effort, yes, for sure. If we need uh, to do a massive effort right now. Firstly, I would suggest to postpone it maybe for two additional weeks before the summer break is over. Mm. Because, yeah, now is still a terrible time for any uh, promotions. Uh, okay. But yeah, maybe in two weeks, so what we can do, we just, uh, well, the dust settles, we schedule uh, maybe one hour, two hour session together with Mark, maybe advocacy and outreach sick members. We review all the tweets. 
-hmm. then we just put them in the system uh, for scheduler for schedule tweets and then yeah they will be just posted on an automatic basis okay. yeah so for okay. me it would be a preference because yeah the content in there and the AB consulting script uh, right it's a shame not to use the content that we right. created because yeah we haven't really promoted many Jenkins the way stories and we should do that mm -hmm. So let's try to do that. At the same time, yeah, one of the ways is that, for example, if you're just, uh, if you're willing to also join the, uh, the Twitter copy editors team or whatever it's called, yeah, I guess you're welcome to do so. Because currently it's basically down to me, Mark, and Tracy when we have some time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we can uh, probably expand the team a bit, uh, find more contributors, maybe even to switch to Twitter as code as we were discussing. But, uh, yeah, ultimately we need contributors to push social media as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I suggest that, let's say, put it on uh, hold for one week. Uh, then, yeah, we just schedule something uh, and, uh, yeah, get it uh, published. Okay. Great, thank you. Yeah. Sorry if it's not the ideal answer, but yeah. No, it's all good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, uh, on uh, a more positive note, yeah, we have uh, the next bump for Google Summer of Code blog posts and coming. Also, we could use uh, blog posts we have already published. So, for example, if there are plans to have a newsletter, etc., we have uh, seven blog posts uh, posted uh, within the last two weeks on Jenkins.io, just for Google Summer of Code. Uh, so, we could just uh, get a uh, newsletter just for that. And I know that CDF also has other projects. So, for Spinnaker, for Screwdriver, uh, there are also projects. So, maybe there could be, for example, CDF newsletter just for that. Uh, event of Google Summer of Code. So, yeah, if we can help with that, Roxanne, yeah, I think we have some content which wasn't published by CDF yet. Okay. Well, we actually have a lot of content like this. We, we've also got this, uh, we're three days away from Google Season of Docs announcing. We okay. could consider using that as an announce, uh, uh, as another blog post or announce point, right? They're going to announce publicly, aren't they, the season of docs? Uh, so for Google season of docs, we have uh, at least two CDF projects, so Jenkins and Jenkins X. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If I recall correctly, there was a CD foundation also participating, but I'm not sure whether they have been uh, accepted. But yeah, still uh, we will have two projects uh, we could promote from CDF. Yeah, that would be really cool. Um, who would write that? Would you want me to write it? Like, if you give me the content, I could write something up, or someone could write it. Like, not the content, but the point yeah, so, the right. Yeah, how it works on uh, August 16th, we will have announcements. I mean, public announcements about uh, the accepted projects. Uh, mm -hmm. We know some details, but we cannot share them neither with uh, mentees nor with public. Okay. But uh, once uh, uh, the decision is announced, there will be one month of community bonding. So basically, mentees just uh, get introduced to their communities, establish connections, uh, how to contribute, etc. And mm -hmm. inviting them uh, to write a blog post or whatever could be a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for Jenkins X, I believe it's approximately the same. So Kara is not on the call today, but yeah, mm, yeah. both Jenkins and Jenkins X applied for one project. Uh, some secret information, so yeah, most likely we'll get one project unless something goes uh, completely wrong. <laughs> okay, good. Mm -hmm. So Oleg, was your was your sense that we should an actively and actively announce the once that Google has announced publicly Google Season of Docs selection, do we announce that at the CDF level? CDF level? Do we blog post it on Jenkins.io? You're indifferent. Oh, not both. Okay, great. Yeah. So 
I don't think that there is much of concern about uh, uh, posting uh, this similar content. Or maybe, well, uh, the angle would be different because CDF is rather about uh, all CDF projects, we are rather about Jenkins. Uh, so we can see how we match uh, the content, but yeah, I believe that we could do some work. So I didn't really think about the Google season of dogs blog post, and we well, had uh, quite a number of documentation related announcements recently. Right. But yeah, we can do more. I'm I'm the official title document so document docs officer, so I certainly can write a blog post. Right? It wouldn't. No one will complain if I write another blog post. I have suspect. Yeah, and it's for sure. So yeah, let's see how we organize it. Uh, but uh, yep, yeah, we definitely need to produce some more content. So right now, I guess for the next two weeks, everyone will be busy. But then we can see how we actually get at least a post from our blog, blog, backlog. For example, like uh, yeah, roadmap, like sponsorships. Uh, we also have announcements to post about system read permissions, etc. So yeah. Uh, we can generate additional uh, content for both CDF okay. and for Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, I guess we will also need to report something for Jenkins the, the way from the Jenkins Twitter account. I didn't do that before because it wasn't clear who owns the account. Uh, but yeah, since it's a big consultant, I believe that we need to promote them a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on a separate note, um, yeah, we are getting a bit more traction with LinkedIn. We are likely to hit uh, 30,000 uh, followers uh, early next week. So it's 10 times more than it was in May. Uh, well, yeah. That's good. Well, uh, we, yeah, we just uh, recovered our Twitter account and yeah, it uh, helps to generate traction. Mm -hmm. So the next uh, challenge is to actually convert traction uh, to contributions. And it is something we should be spending a bit more time on. And yeah, another update, we actually got the control of the Reddit, uh, subreddit for Jenkins. So the, cool. history be, yeah, the history behind it is that uh, there was a subreddit since 2011 or so. Um, three months ago, it was moved to the moderated state. Uh, so owners were Kosek and Tyler. Both of them uh, had no time. Um, so we, there was no pause for three months or so. And after some discussions, basically Tim Jacob and me, we became moderators there. So well, for me, they became moderator is also the day my, the day I registered on Reddit. So please don't have <laughs> don't set so high expectations about me. Uh, but uh, yeah, still uh, we now have control of Reddit account and also Facebook. So if we get uh, automation, we can actually uh, post uh, to all these platforms. Mm -hmm. And if we have some bandwidth and not on, uh, we really need to think about this automation. Because now we have Twitter and LinkedIn, and basically the format is completely different. So Twitter is uh, micro blogs, and LinkedIn you can uh, post more or less full article, not a long one, but still. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, if we do more systems, we definitely need to think about automation so that we don't spend more time on that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's quick update about what happens here and there. Um, but yeah, I don't think that uh, there is much else to update regarding social media and other platforms. And yes, and for contributing guidelines and for other initiatives, we didn't do much changes recently. We will be definitely doing some communications and facilitating contributions towards Hacktoberfest in October. Uh, the uh, effort uh, is still yet to be seen because uh, it might be just uh, reuse uh, stories like 
uh, terminology cleanup, like uh, documentation migration and other stories we have documented. Post them, we organize a few events, maybe something bigger, but it really depends on how many contributors we will be able to get from the community. Because, We're planning yeah. a push from the CDF for Hacktoberfest too, for all our projects and maybe a mm -hmm. newsletter on the topic. And if we do that, then maybe Mark, you could write like how to contribute to Jenkins and where, like what you want people to do. And yeah, we have we're meeting about that. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So we're meeting so, about that tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, once there are more details about Hacktoberfest and CDF, we need uh, to sync up because yeah, we've been doing Hacktoberfest and Jenkins for three years or so. Yeah. Well, it was still a kind of low scale effort. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, for example, last year we had uh, 127 unique contributors uh, and uh, 70 cool. of them were first timers. Uh, so, well, it's a good number. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So let's see how we do it uh, this year. But yeah, if you plan on some uh, promotion, definitely you would be happy to participate as well because yeah, I guess it's a win win for everyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yesterday we finally made a decision on terminology. So now officially we have Jenkins controllers, hey. not Jenkins masters. That's great. Yeah. Uh, then we can update the blog post. Because it's going out at the end of the month. Uh, you mean one by Alex L? Yeah. Yeah, uh, basically Alex is uh, driving this uh, decision in the community. So I believe he will contact you about that. Perfect. So yeah, there are some follow-ups, but we generally have a decision. How okay. we proceed? Uh, well, we just, well, we just confirmed everything yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, definitely it's something we will be posting in CDF and the engineering set resources as well because it's an important topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of that, uh, what uh, content management system does CDF use? Is it just uh, Drupal or what is? We use WordPress. WordPress. Oh, WordPress. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then yes. Salesforce to do like outreach and the newsletter mm -hmm. and stuff, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in our case, we use uh, documentation as code, so there might be some difficulties with conversion uh, if we want to migrate CDF blog post to Jenkins, but it's not like we haven't done it before. Well, we do a lot of migration from Google Docs to ASCII doc, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, I guess uh, Alex will be reaching out soon. If not, I will. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anything else for today? Other topics? Um, I just okay. have a quick one for Roxanne. Um, yes. When is the next newsletter going out, Roxanne? In September 1st, that September. week. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, uh, so in case if you need additional content for the mm -hmm. newsletter, so DevOps World is um, mm -hmm. towards the end of uh, September 22nd mm -hmm. to 24th. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of CDF and Jenkins content on there. Um, so if you, you know, you want to take a look at the agenda um, mm -hmm. and maybe yeah. if there's anything that looks in, uh, interesting to you, I'm sure they would appreciate a, um, a highlight on their session. Definitely, that's a good idea. Yeah, um, speaking of that, uh, is there any plan for speaker blog posts or for DevOps World Agenda and on Spontan Jenkins? I would love that, Oleg. Um, but? Yeah. <laughs> this time thing is such an issue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like asking, first I'm trying to track down everybody to get their, 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 their time in to schedule their recording because all the sessions are being pre-recorded. And then, oh, you got yours recorded, Mark? Done, done, yesterday, done. You're, you are wonderful. Next week. 
there, there's a few that, I mean, the events team is just having, because I'm the chair for the community track and the seat, well, and, and I'm responsible mm -hmm. for CDF as well. And so I'm tracking down person by person and it's like sucking up my time. Um, so mm -hmm. I also was on a, a call with all this, with most of the speakers. And so I did ask for blogs. So yes, we would very much love to have some blogs, technical blogs on Jenkins.io. So that would, that's on my to-do list. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Is there any way or, because the conference now is called DevOps World, can we promote anything besides the blogs on Jenkins.io about well, the conference? Just so we discussed it, if I recall correctly, in uh, spring. And basically, yeah, we could promote it, especially if uh, there is some clarity about how we organize booths, whether we do contributor summit and uh, other items. We mm -hmm. discussed at that point in the seek. Uh, so, uh, same for example for agenda. Yes, we can post it, especially if there is significant amount of Jenkins content, and I know for sure that uh, there is. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the problem is that somebody needs to prepare that. So, for example, if you are ready to write a blog post with overview of DevOps world content, mm -hmm. I think we can easily put it in our event calendar. We could easily reference that. We could easily promote it in Jenkins social media. And I could uh, link to it from the newsletter. Yep. Okay. But it means that somebody needs to prepare this content. Okay, I'll do, I'll do that. Yeah. So okay. uh, this is uh, totally possible if we really plan some community events. So I know for sure that there will be CDF booths. But for example, I'm not sure what happens with community booths. This, uh, yeah, will we have one or will it be just CDF one? We will have one. So the discussion is actually, I'm having the discussion with Jude later today. What is, okay. so what is our preference? Do we want to have like a community pavilion where we have all the CDF projects in this space or um, do we want, you know, what we've done in the past, which is like just Jenkins booth and then CDF has its own space. I'm, I'm leaning towards a, a, a community pavilion with projects, individual projects. Um, plus one for that. Okay. Great. All right. We will do that. Yeah. Um, did you want a contributor summit or anything like that, Oleg? Well, if there is a way to organize it, um, it would be nice. At the same time, uh, yeah, remote contributor summit, uh, we still need to think how we organize that. Uh, and uh, taking the timing and other uh, commitments. Uh, I don't think that we should schedule it. Uh, but uh, yeah, if there is uh, community booths, whatever, I think it's more than enough. Okay. We can probably do some community workshop, for example, uh, how to contribute to Jenkins or something like that. Uh, yeah, maybe same for other projects, uh, maybe having some general contributing to open source, etc. And it okay. could also count. But contributor summit, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It's just uh, too much preparation and uh, we don't have bandwidth. Right. So, uh, yeah, for, well, I spent maybe one week uh, for Brussels preparing for the agenda content. Uh, yeah, for, um, Portugal, it was less, uh, but still a significant amount of time we would need to find. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no contributor summit at DevOps World in September, and then we'll do a um, a community mm -hmm. pavilion with all the CDF yeah. projects underneath now, it. Now we may want some. Do does. DevOps world, does the Jenkins booth at DevOps world have a way to let us put a poster up or something like that? It might be good timing to promote Hacktoberfest, right? It'll be end of September. And if we could sneak a poster in there somehow or, you know, a clickable link, 
guiding them towards Hacktoberfest and helping the Jenkins project might be a good noise generator. Okay. Amen. And then we'll use the Jenkins Needs You poster, right, Mark? Of course. <laughs> We, 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 we still have not thanked Xenia nearly enough for having created that image. I think that was her image still originally. So Which one? Jenkins needs you. The, uh, oh, yeah. The... yeah. I, I don't do the pointing finger nearly as well as Jenkins does. So. <laughs> well, uh, I can uh, send you, well, have you seen this photo from Lisbon? When basically we got Kiki, yes. etc., to cosplay. Yes, I'm, I think I'm even in that photo, although I'm not nearly as good looking. Kosuke looks exactly right. That photo was just nearly the perfect thing. He, he yeah. looks precisely like like the image that Xenia had created. Yeah, I'll uh, try to dig it up. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely some way now Twitter. Yeah. On somebody else's Twitter. Uh, but yeah, so I think we really need to discuss how we organize uh, the content for DevOps World. Though, since it's a virtual uh, conference, we have opportunity to do it in September. Uh, but yeah, if, yeah. So. Um, let's talk. Let Let me figure. Out what Let me find out when the deadline for for those um, items are, and then we'll we'll work towards it. But I think mm -hmm. we have some time. Yeah, yeah, for that, for that we will see the con in uh, two or three weeks. Where basically, well, I guess we will also have a separate booth there, like any other project. Maybe not. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's a good opportunity to prepare so that we use the same format at two conferences. Agreed. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, thanks for bringing up this topic. Sure. Yeah, we really forgot about uh, the boost stand and other things. <laughs> no worries. Mm -hmm. hmm? So, yeah, then if that's it, thanks everyone. And uh, talk to you in two weeks, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Thank you. Thanks all. Thanks.